Okay, May 18th, 2021. <clears throat> Out looking at my new alfalfa seeding that I did probably, oh, three and a half weeks ago. You know, we've had, we've had just enough rain to allow this stuff to sprout. However, we haven't, we, you know, we've got no deep soil profile moisture really. Um, or at least we're not replenishing that deep soil profile. We're, we're having, um, you know, these tiny little rains, a tenth of an inch here and there about once a week is all. And it was enough to get this stuff to germinate. Um, but, you know, we didn't have the type of rain to get good equal uniform germination. You know, that's what happens when you just get a little spit here and there. You know, like we got, here's an alfalfa sprout that probably just came up in the last few days. You know, here's an alfalfa getting ready to show a couple trifoliate leaves that's probably three weeks old. So you're not getting that, that, that uniform germination. Here is an orchard grass um, tiller from the previous year. Because I didn't burn this field down, I chisel plowed it and disked it heavy. So I did not do a, a burn down on this. So it was kind of a uh, second thought. Um, I wasn't too concerned about orchard grass coming back up in here. You can tell the new grass coming up. And it's, it's probably the rye grass I put in here as a cover crop. And probably not as much of the orchard grass, hard to tell. Um, so, you know, and we got sparse germination like this because of low moisture conditions. I think that this cover crop of ryegrass is going to be important to me. And, you know, it, it's coming up. I'm not overly impressed. I'm happy it is at least here. But now we're going into a whole week of weather and we're going to have days in the 80 degree mark and no rain you know so you're like well are these seedlings going to survive how long you know they they basically have no root structure yet that much so they're just the only thing that's kept them alive is these little spits of rain that we're getting uh once in a while there hasn't really been a heavy dew so you can't say they're really getting any water from dew at all and, um, and you know, here again, differential germination, new seeding. This one here has a little bit of a trifoliate leaf that's starting to form. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know. Um, it seems like we don't get our good all day soaking rains anymore in this region of the country here, Southeast Michigan. And this, you know, probably will look a lot better here in a week or two if we get rain. But I'm kind of concerned about this, this burning up this week. Um, you know, I mean, look at, you know. I mean, I, I don't think there's a lot of, you know, upper surface soil moisture left. Now here's the alfalfa. And, um, you know, one of the points, you know, listening to Humble Haymakers, you know, JHJ Farm there, his live stream this weekend, he was talking about, you know, the nitrogen you got to put back in the ground. Uh, this is actually a pasture, an alfalfa pasture. Uh, this is a pasture mix. So we've got some, we've got some red. There's your red. Yeah, we got some ladino clover in here. But the orchard grass is two weeks ahead of the grass that doesn't have legumes in it or hasn't been nitrogen fertilized. Just want to look at that. The, the nitrogen credits you're getting from the alfalfa uh, is pretty impressive. So to me, I can't, it's hard for me to justify planting a pure grass field because it just doesn't do anything in our climate. The cool season grasses have that that complete summer slump, and they don't do anything 
anything without nitrogen. Well, next day here, stopping by, I got, I got six cows now. So I had five last night. Only thing I can figure is, I think it's her. There's one there. I figure she, does she look like she calved? She bagged up. I can't tell if those have been suckled on or anything. But anyways, we are dry, people. Dry, 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 dry. Um, wow, I mean, it's bad. It's bad. You know, you spent a lot of money on fertilizer this year. And uh, who knows, you know, who knows? And let's see, you know, ground is hard. I mean, look at this ground. You know, I was talking about hay fields earlier, but I mean. I mean, I don't know. So drought strategy, what's everybody's drought strategy? I mean, sorghum, we got some oats and peas in the ground, a buddy of mine does, and they're sprouted, but they ain't growing. Um, are we gonna be baling weeds? I mean, you see here, they're, they got grass, they're in here eating the weeds, so maybe these cows in this scrub habitat will learn to eat some alternate forages. I've had them do that before. Uh, you know, it's gonna be one of those years we're gonna have such a little hay crop that real hay can't be fed to cows. Not, you know, they're gonna, something's gonna have to be done. But anyway, so yeah, a little bit of uh, field scouting today and um, cattle scouting. I'm thinking she's got a calf bedded somewhere. And way she's going that way. Sometimes you can find out by just walking that way. And then they intercept you and try to get to the calf before you do. So the way she's going, she's kind of pointing out here. And I bet there's a baby out this way. What do you say, mama? You got something out here? Sometimes it really ain't worth the hassle going and trying to find them. I've I've jumped up the calves before and spooked the calves and had them run the other direction. And yeah, so she's got one over there. Look at her go. She's making a beeline. Oh yeah, look at that. She's like, no, I got a calf. Yeah, I don't want you near it. right here I am, yeah there it is right there I think yeah nope that wasn't the calf I thought I saw a little black blip in there I don't know all right she just moved hey girl and you know she calved what, two days after coming here? So she didn't get much of a chance. Yeah, she's mooing, so she, it's in here somewhere. She must have, oh, there it is. I see it now. Yeah, there it is, it's over there. That's as close as I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna leave her alone. Um, I got, oh, we got some friends coming. So these cows have adapted to this spot really good. Really good, so yeah, they've adapted very well. 